Welcome back to the show, everybody. We have made our way over to the kitchen. We have Tyler Dyke joining us, who is the CEO and head of operations for Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery. And we're so excited that you could make the trip back to Kamloops for us, uh, Tyler, and, and have you back. Uh, it's been a while, so thank you. Yeah, well, it's always good to come back, and we like to bring refreshments when I do come. Yeah, I love that. And on a Friday. I mean, thank you for that. It it's, is perfect. It's like you time it perfectly. Yeah, this is, the, if, if we weren't here, we would be at the distillery doing the exact same thing. perfect so, okay yeah. well why not do it here for us on tv and thank you so much so no um last time you were on i think we were this was actually quite a while ago now uh we were chatting about uh sort of the 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 real uh, history i guess you could say of canadian distilling and just kind of diving deep into where it began and where it where it is now mm -hmm. but today we wanted to chat a little bit more about uh, the the whiskey that you have and mm. um we have a couple segments that we're going to do here so we're going to break things up a little bit but let's talk a little bit first of all about the the one that you want to feature here which is the Laird of Fintry. Yeah it's, it's a great starting point because the Laird of Fintry is where single malt whiskey started in Canada mm -hmm. so it is being Western Canada's original uh, farm to flask distillery uh, that gives us an advantage of yeah. being the oldest um, but really when it comes to authentic and terroir specific whiskeys this was the first uh, single malt whiskey that was made 100% local. Wow. And it is the only whiskey in North America to three times be named World Spirits Awards Whiskey of the Year at the World Spirits the Awards. The only one. The only one. And it's the reason why Canadian distilling is on the map. So wow. back when it first won, it was mm -hmm. the first time that anything in North America had any whiskey in North America mm -hmm. had won at the World Spirits Awards. Wow. So it was a big sort of, there was tons of mm -hmm. uh, you know, celebration. Of it, it was a big head turner. Uh, and 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 it really comes down to the fact that we have amazing growing conditions here. But as we were talking about before we got started here, whiskey's not just about what's in the bottle. No. Whiskey's about the stories yeah. behind it. There's and a the story lyric. to every whiskey. Exactly. Yeah. And this is firmly rooted in Okanagan history. Okay, well that. tell us about it. What is the history? So the Laird of Fintry, so the, the bottle of the Laird of Fintry yeah. is a recreated label from an original label that was made for a gentleman and his his sort of uh, name mm -hmm. was the Laird of Fintry. It was actually Captain Dunwaters. Okay. And he had Fintry Estate up between Vernon and yes, Kelowna. Yes. So very uh, well-known historical property. Mm -hmm. He had his own private whiskey made for him in Scotland under his own name, the Laird of Fintry, and it's actually under the same label as this. Of course, it didn't say Okanagan Spirits. At the right. Time. <laughs> this was back in the early 1900s. He had it shipped across on steamship, brought across all across Canada wow. on the rail, and then paddle wheeled down, and he had the only private paddle wheel dock on Okanagan Lake. Wow. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, this was, this was someone that had come from Scottish gentry, yeah. super, super rich, mm -hmm. but really down to earth. Wow. And you know, there's stories around when his house burnt down, he raced back to the he would, to look at what he'd lost on this. And people recall him pulling yeah. beams and timbers yeah. and all this. And what he was actually searching for was the hidden trap door to get his whiskey. Get and his apparently whiskey. he went down through the ashes and smoke, pulled out and came up well, with a bottle of the Laird of Well, Fintry. there you go. Okay, so then what makes it so special? Should we taste while we're chatting? I think we should probably, you know, okay. it'd be a shame That'd not be, to on yeah, here. Uh, so what makes it so special for First, it's born in Okanagan Fields, so it's our grain grown for us specifically in our fields. Yeah. It's then, so it's 100% local to start mm -hmm. with. But after we produce it, it spends its first five years in our custom white oak casks before being transferred to Quailsgate Winery Fortified Foch. Oh. So think a port style wine. So it goes into their barrels for the last half year of its life. Yeah. And when you smell it, yeah. you're gonna notice jammy sort of fruity that. notes fruity. on it. Yeah, definitely so you fruity. add a layer of complexity that wouldn't be there if it was just the whiskey itself. So the best whiskeys in the world are often a whiskey that goes from one cask to, to a second finishing one. cask. Oh, I didn't know that. So in this, if you remember from last time with nosing, you're gonna yep. nose side to side. Okay. and then you're going to take a tiny little sip just to prep the palate. 
and let it wash over your tongue and you're gonna get those caramels and vanillas oh my gosh, that's so smooth from the too. barrel. Yeah, it's gonna be really silky smooth on I it. I definitely now. get caramel. Yeah, and then on the finish, the finish is... that sort of jammy, yeah. plummy, almost like a, a sticky plum pudding yeah. on, there, on there. So I'm gonna think Christmas dessert. time on that. It is a kind of a dessert whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So sipping by the fire style yeah. whiskey on that. Oh, it's good, yeah. So of course it, it's popular. Um, I know that the, the demand is really high for this. So you have a, a little bit of a lottery going on. Yeah, it's kind okay. of a cheeky thing we do. So when we first started making it, there was way more people, and a lot of them were local, that were yeah. saying, you better hold on to a bottle for me. <laughs> and in the years went on before we could release, yeah. we realized that we don't have enough bottles. So we decided to start the Laird of Fintry lottery. So every year, people enter into the lottery for their chance to be able to buy a bottle of this. Okay. Of course, after it was named World Whiskey of the Year, and then when the it, demand went, even it went higher, went higher. and <laughs> yeah. then it got named again in 2017 yeah. and then again in 2020, yeah. the d demand skyrocketed so that now we're over 30,000, like at, as of today, we're over about 32,000 names in the lottery oh my goodness, for Tyler. this year's lottery for only 5,000 bottles. Oh, wow. Now, that gives them a chance. A real to, lottery. It is a real lottery, <laughs> but it gives them a chance at Whiskey Glory, Canadian yeah. Whiskey Glory, something that they can be proud of. Mm -hmm. And for our family, it's a really cool thing too because it also allows us to give away. So our family gives 50 bottles to different charities that we support. Right. And those bottles, because no one can buy this on the market, those go regularly between two and five thousand dollars. Holy! So it's great for the charity, yeah. but it also feeds back into the lore of the whiskey. Right. Oh my goodness. So as with so any get your you have to get in quick though because it's only a few more days. Is that right? Yeah, it's Monday. The lottery closes on Monday okay. for this year. So if you want to get in, you really want to enter now. Okay. And there's no cost to enter. You just enter, and yeah. it gives you a chance to purchase a bottle. Quickly, Tyler, what has all of these awards for Laird of Frenchry done for, for Okanagan Spirits? I mean, I can imagine it's just an incredible opportunity for you guys, too. It's it's amazing. And, you know, for, for our family, it's been amazing to be, you know, to be the, the first uh, distillery out there, but then to be able to have you know, we stand on the shoulders of giants around the world yeah. that have helped us to get to this point is yeah. fantastic. As the head of the Canadian Craft Distillers Association, it also is just amazing to see how this authentic, going back to doing things properly and doing them well, yeah. is catching on. And I feel like that's what we talked about last time you were on too, just the, the fact that you know, where everything began, where distilling began, where it is now, there is that that uh, real interest to go back to the authenticity of it all, Exactly. Right? Yeah. It went from authentic prohibition yeah. hit, it went to just commercial, commercial madness of how now, do we make it cheap, and now it's going back uh, to authentic. Yeah. Okay, well, this is very authentic, everybody. There's more information on the screen for Okanagan Spirits, but we're not done with Tyler. We're coming right back, so stay tuned.